Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me again for another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Yes, we are here in Elm Creek, and we are in the month of March, and we are poor. Yes, we have no monies, but we're going to get some monies, and we're actually going to get a good substantial chunk of money today. So, first thing we're going to do is going to hop in uh, contracts. There are two fertilizing contracts available. And we are going to accept them both because they are definitely uh, good money here to start the spring season. So nearly $16,000. Now, I did look and I think, yeah, Field 39 is right in front of us. We are going to start with that and hopefully the 19% fertilizer that we currently have will be sufficient to at least finish this field. So we can get a bit of more money to do the next field. Because, you know, whoop. Okay, nobody saw a thing. It's all good. Uh, as you know, there's no sign. That sign was not there. There is no sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to bomb down here and try to get things going. You know, great way to make some quick, easy cash. Like I say, the big, big question is... Do we actually have enough fertilizer? We had 19%. We're a quarter of the way down the field. And it'd be really good if we can catch the full edge. There we go. That's a little better. I don't know. It's going to be tight. Now, the good news is, as uh, you sh I think we all know, that for this type of contract or contracts, we actually don't need to finish the entire field. And in this case, we will save as much fertilizer as we can. Ooh, uh, this is going to be tight, folks. This is going to be tight. We might have to take a loan. Okay, so let's do that. Avoid the train. Didn't even look because I like to live dangerously. Okay, let's make sure we are overlapping here. And we're not. We're only 35% done, and we've got 7% left. Oi, caramba. I don't know. What do you guys think? Will we successfully complete uh, this contract before we run out of fertilizer? That is the big question. And we can't even hire a uh, helper. It would have done a far better job. Now, you can take a loan out, and we just might have to here in the very near future, so we'll find out momentarily. Because we are at 3%, 2%. Yeah, this. All right, well, it looks like things didn't work out as I had hoped. I'd hoped to finish this contract. 3, 2, 1, 25, 20 liters, 18. Can we at least get to the edge? Two, one, and we are out. That did not work out. How did we do? 65%. Okay. Time to get some fertilizer, take a little loan out, and we can finish off this contract. Well, with a quick run to the store, a $5,000 loan, and two bags of fertilizer, we now have 62%. Uh, so that will be plenty. Uh, famous last words, obviously. And oh, I was about to say somebody fixed that sign, but uh, no, they did not. So, anyways, we have we have things up and operational again. We'll quickly take care of this field ourselves. Uh, then I think what we'll do is we'll send this tractor over uh, to field 25, put it on a helper, because we'll be able to accept this contract, pay off the loan. The reason why, you know, we, we are have we do have the ability to make some money today. Uh, I think our sunflower oil is good to go. But, you know, these contracts, quick and easy. And I do want to buy a uh, slurry, slurry applicator. Because uh, we have plenty of slurry in the cow barn. It's full of the top. So it's either we uh, just let that sit and uh, lose its value. Or we buy a tanker and sell it. 
but I think we're going to start using uh, the slurry to fertilize our fields. And we do need to fertilize the sunflower field. Funny enough, uh, the field we purchased is fully fertilized. So we do not need to worry about that. Uh, so we just need to fertilize our own field. Or the original sunflower field. So, And as well where the oats will go. So, oh. Well, this is, uh, there we go. Du oh, done. There we go. So $387. Have a look, see here. So, you know, word of advice, don't be afraid to take out a loan. Uh, I was when I first started playing the game, like, well, I don't want to go in debt. But as you can see here, we started the month in the hole, took out a $5,000 loan, and we can collect on this contract. We can come into our monies, and we can repay this uh, $5,000 loan. So we now have $3,700. And then we're going to get a nice beautiful eight thousand dollars uh once we uh finish uh field 25. we've done plenty of work in the past over here and that is a bit of a drop but we'll come over here get things going we can turn our helper on uh actually it'd probably be wiser to get them going in a i was about to say a straight Bro, what is wrong with you, Mr. Helper? But that's fine. We'll let you go. You do you, sir. And let's get on to a few more tasks around our farm. Next thing we're going to do, uh, we will... Well, we actually needed a few things. Ooh, I missed some stones here. Try to catch that, but I did finish off screen uh, after last episode, mostly uh, removing the stones from these fields here. But this one needs to be done as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna park this here, leave the trailer, grab the stone picker as we drive through the trees and you can see our nicely newly expanded massive field. Now, before we plant uh, the sunflowers, we do need to fertilize uh, this field. And I do want to use basically uh, a, our slurry if we can. And we're going to have to find the midway point as we hook up here. Let me show you. Hop in here. Yeah, this is where you are. So this is field 53, which we purchased. As you can see, it is basically, it's got one application of fertilizer, the, the lighter blue. And as well, the strip that we plowed over here, lighter blue and little bits that we had to do. But we do need to fertilize field 54 and 55. That is something we need to accomplish. And I would like to use uh, a slurry applicator. Not done that before. I think we'll get enough money between selling our sunflower oil as well as, you know, the contracts that we're completing here with the fertilizing. What we're gonna do, because I love doing this so much, AKA not really, put the helper on here. They can take care of uh, this field. Need to find a tractor, not that tractor. That's not a tractor, this is a tractor. And we're going to go find our trailer. Now you notice, you know, we got our new sheds here. I left this as a grass field. That way we continue to make uh, our silage and hay and money throughout the season. Got rid of the burn, which I never really used. So hopefully those sheds that expensive uh, workout. Can always end up changing them if need be. Plenty of eggs. But we're gonna grab this trailer and head over to the oil mill production. Beautiful amount of uh, sunflower oil here. I think there's a few pallets that have yet to spawn. Yeah, we just grab those. Just move these in range of the auto loading trailer. Makes things super easy. One more, and I think that's it. Ah, oh, 
wish we had, well, 63 more liters of sunflower oil, and we would have had another pallet, but not today. Let's make sure super strength actually isn't on. Yeah, okay, it was on. It was on. Okay, let's find it. Where's the best spot? And once again, the time-saving uh, stock check. Sunflower oil. Where in March? Ooh, honey as well. Ooh, I didn't realize the honey. So right now, the fast food restaurant for both, which are right across. Oh, we lost a bit of value. These are going down in price. Are they gonna, is this gonna go back up? Not sunflowers, sunflower oil. Okay, they're all going down. So we're gonna, we're gonna haul it to the fast food restaurant. Then we're gonna get our honey. And that should be plenty enough to allow us, actually I know it's a fact that uh, we can buy a slurry machine. get on the main road here so if you recall the oil mill production was our very first production that's why we've been focusing on canola and sunflowers and this is going to be a great amount of money for us and it's going to allow us to continue to expand obviously many more productions for us to buy and obviously more fields for us to purchase in order to sustain all that production capacity that we want or I guess capability and we need the uh, with which will have plenty of capacity and therefore we need to keep feeding the beast uh, speaking of feeding the beast don't pass the fast food restaurant we can now plant our grass as well let's roll into here see how much money we make come on keep going keep going Loving that number, just keep going up and up. There we go, $85,000. I think the next thing we're gonna do, we'll just, before we forget, drive across, and this is also why I love the grass field. Just hop over, not a problem, not a care in the world. Just need to pull up here. Grab all this honey. Hop out. Let's just move the honey pallets that we do need super strength for. Now, I do have a mod uh, which allows more pallets to be spawned in the trigger here, or the, this area. Which I probably should do. Just makes it a little, little faster instead of sitting here waiting for all the honey pallets to spawn. As you can tell, we have a nearly double stack. And the question is, will we have a fully double stacked trailer? Because that is a lot of honey. And I can't easily tell, to be honest. Am I missing something that I can tell how many pallets are left? And we will sell any partial pallets that we get. No, I can't easily... Easily tell. But four more give us a double stack. Three more. So I hear two more. Oh, not quite, but that is fine. Ooh, and worker G, that is our stone picker, which I do think it means our fertilizing contract is done as well. Just drive across. 
So this is going to give us plenty of money. Could almost buy another field too, but we want to buy equipment. I've been buying fields left, right, and center. But we need to get need. Want is more like it. Want to get some more equipment to take advantage of everything. And that's $55,000. And that is probably the easiest money to make. Those bees just keep doing their thing. Okay, so we're going to drop this back. Leave this right here. Oh yeah, this is our beautiful new tractor as well. John Deere. I love the green. It's nice. I do want to get a uh, little air there. So we have $144,000. I don't think there's anything in the sale. Ooh, there is. But nothing that uh, we need. And as we do the Elm Creek Drift. Yeah, there's nothing that is... Those tractors are too small for our purposes at this point. So yeah, a slurry applicator uh, with a get one with a built-in tank. Don't want to get too fancy smancy. Well, we'll have a look. Okay, so come in here. Uh, slurry. These are slurry tanks specifically. Oh no, that's where we want. Okay, slurry. So these are tanks, which I think then the you would get this and put that attachment on. But I want an all-in-one. So let's do this. And now we have a choice between this one at 77,500. It's got a 15 meter working width, holds 15.5 cubic meters. This one holds a little more, same width. So I think for, for us, we'll get this one. Anything to customize here? Okay, apparently customize the tires, but they're all standard. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna buy it. Now we still have $64,000. Not bad. Well, $66,000, but we still have a contract to accept. But I'm really excited to use our new uh, slurry applicator. First time using one of these. Hopefully this is a good purchase. We'll find out uh, momentarily. Before we uh, get the slurry machine out, we need to empty the uh, stone picker. Now, maybe I should buy one of those tractors. Um, because all my tractors are in use. Actually, I think the fertilizing uh, tractor just finished, but that's fine. I think in real life, well, mm, I wonder what a farmer in this situation have two tractors operating or, or just the one. Probably two. I guess, you know what? Um, if I could, I would have two. Even if it was just me using it. Because then you'd save time doing what I have to do here right now, right? So I'm going to have to attach this. Empty the stone picker. And before I set this, you know, get back to work. Ooh. Ooh. As you can tell, because we didn't empty the stone picker, this trailer is now full. So we will move it out of the way. I'm going to go get the uh, tractor that was doing the fertilizing. So I think it's done. So we'll move this out of the way temporarily. Get this back on a worker. And that way, that work can continue, but we'll get the other tractor to come in and empty things. 
So let's go find them. There they are. They are done. So another $8,000. So we won't take any of these contracts. Those aren't worth it to us at this point. So we will accept it. So we have $74,000. 14%. Wow, we, we did end up using a lot of fertilizer, but that is A-OK. -okay. Very uh, quick run here to the Stone Crusher. Make a bit of money. Uh, I really don't think this is a very profitable venture from a return on investment uh, from a game simulation point of view. But in real life, uh, I, you know, depending on what you have, you might need to have all this equipment. And I think there is a lime. I don't know whether it's a lime mod or whatnot where you can make your own lime from the, you know, basically picking your own stones. What do we make? Oh, it's actually not bad. Uh, nearly $1,200. Let me, uh, I won't say take that back, but, you know, if that's the case, you know, we're, we're, we might finally be getting close to paying off for some of the equipment. Now, we could go back in time and add it all up. We're, you know, if somebody wants to do that to figure out how much I've spent, uh, not necessarily in time, but uh, at least on the equipment of... I think I had this trailer, sold this trailer, bought this trailer because I needed it for the stone picking. Uh, and then the stone picker itself, which I do believe I got on sale. So not, you know, didn't pay full. I'm pretty confident I did not pay uh, full price for that stone picker. I think I got very lucky that it showed up in the sale. Dude! Oh, you know, sometimes it's hard to get good help. Okay. Let's come over to this side then. It's like, I do appreciate the fact that you wanted to make sure you got every last stone, but not what I'm paying you for. You're here to get the big stuff. Okay. So there we go. They can go from this side. They're fine there. Okay, so here we go. I do believe it is on this side, and I believe the slurry comes out of this pipe. Yes? No? Well, there we go. So this was full, the cow barn was full, and we just took 15,500 liters. So if we come down to our productions, sorry, our animals. Wow. We, wow. Three quarters full. So yeah, okay, okay. That's good. Now we might look to take that milk over as well today. We'll see. Well, this month. We're going to do it this month. Because there's much more to do this month that we're not going to get in this episode. You can see there a manure pile. So at some point, we will buy a manure spreader. I don't think we're going to do that today. So I don't think uh, it's going to be worth it. So, And we are probably looking to use our next big payday to buy... Ooh, we could buy a better... Yes, I, I've got ideas. Okay, let's do the whole bird of prey attack here. Got to lower it. Hold it. Just wait for this guy to get out of the way. It's like a giant comb. For those that have seen the movie Spaceballs, so once again, I might be dating uh, myself, but there's a great scene where, oh, Lord Hellman, I think is his name, says, comb the desert for them. And they literally pull out the combs and comb the desert. Um, that's a great movie. Uh, if If you haven't seen it, Highly recommend uh, going watch. It's a great spoof on Star Wars. I'm the legendary Mel Brooks. Okay, let's 
get ourselves lined up here. Oh my goodness, that's on. I did not realize that. I'm like, wait a minute, that's changing the texture. Okay, uh, way to go, Sargon. So not exactly a successful start here. But we're fine. Okay, we've got it on. You can see the color changing here. Wouldn't necessarily want to uh, live next to the Mr. Slurry here. I do believe it has a bit of an odor, but uh, I could be mistaken. So that 40,000 uh, liters that we have in the cow pasture will probably go pretty quick. Um, so maybe over time this investment becomes, oops, a little train, a uh, little more worthwhile when you have more uh, pasture capacity. Because we just spent $77,000 on this. Now, it's kind of hard to gauge how many passes we could truly catch. Because, obviously, I didn't realize I turned this on. So we get at least two passes, but... You know, it is a large field. It is, it is large. And we missed a bit in the middle there. Catch that. All right, so with that, uh, got a little work to do. So let's just crack on and get uh, this all done. fertilizing so you need to go down and back up just to catch that middle piece which is a little unfortunate for sure you can actually see that we've done a double application right here because i guess that was fertilized because i plowed it for the first time and the reason why i i don't necessarily want to do it all this field with the slurry is because the planter for the sunflowers i'm pretty positive allows for us to put fertilizer in it so we can you know plant the uh, sunflower seeds and as well fertilize at the same time and that's what i'm also thinking about in terms of you know getting a proper cedar that i think that can do both and we're probably due for an upgrade uh which we'll see our cedar here as well <coughs> excuse me and one of the things i did notice during this time lapse is basically uh, once you lower the fertilizer or uh, lower the slurry machine so there's our cedar it's it's the og it basically it's time for it to be replaced so i think that's one of the purchases we'll make uh when we go to plant uh, our oat field so that will be a good purchase but basically when we so we unfold it and then as soon as we lower it it turns it on so even though there's a oh we could do double application which we're not going to do for this 
But that is also good to know that we have the ability to do that. I mean, many more runs to the uh, cow pasture to get more slurry. But in a case... Hmm. You know what? I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm not sure we actually have a situation where we might even need a double application at this point. Because if we look at things, our planter, I, you know, like I said, I think has the ability to do uh, fertilization as well. And I think we're going to get a cedar that does the same thing. So we only should need single application. You can see there, we put some slurry down there by mistake. But it's just getting used to the machine. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Now, wow, you can really notice the Elm Creek drift. Yeah, there was a small minor earthquake got uh, got me bedazzled. It wasn't the fact that I was having uh, some Baileys in my coffee this morning as I'm driving my tractor. No, actually, zero Baileys. And actually, I have no coffee. Maybe that's it. I have no coffee. But you'll see we've probably done a bit of a double application as we... Uh, go into our new field that already had one application of fertilizer. But we will have a look at that in a moment. We'll just look at for the train. Because this is definitely a bunch of new equipment. I do not want damaged by the train. So let's back this baby up. Oh, have a look-see here. Yeah, you can see right here in the middle, a bit of a double application. So that's fine. Not a worries. So we can fold this up. We'll take this. This will live, I think, right where we get the, the slurry. It makes the most sense. So we are doing well for money. Uh, we do need to finish that field. So we'll get this back part. Yeah, we will leave it here in its new home. And we will fill it up, because that actually gives us some extra storage space. Pop in here, here. As you can see, there is one small row of stones left. Which we might as well take care of ourselves as well. But we'll pull back here. This is the nice thing about having the helper on. It'll automatically start unloading it as soon as you get in the sweet spot. We'll take over. Claim all the glory of removing the stones from this field. So we started off the episode down I think it was $400. <laughs> we now have $75,000. And I think, yeah, we collected the other contracts. So I think this is all our money. We sold a bunch of honey, all our sunflowers, or sunflower oil, I should say. And I, yeah, I think the uh, production's off. We'll do a double check on that. We bought a slurry applicator, uh, and I think that's, I think that's going to be a good purchase. It's going to save us money on fertilizer. Might not make any friends with the neighbors, but that's fine. And there's four percent left in there. That is fine as well. And one of the things I've begun to realize too is we actually do need more storage space. That's funny. Those uh, wooden sheds are full. The large shed is not technically, but there is some equipment that we are going to buy that's going to go there. So that's why I'm waiting to buy this barley field. So I think we'll put some sheds in here. And the plan is to make this a grass field. And I love this bridge. Beautiful. So I think we can uh, park this here. And I think this is where we'll leave things for today as I begin to lose my voice. So I would like to thank you all for watching. 
and we will see you next time. Bye for now.